Hey guys, you're seeing another new face on the thumbnail of a School of Send video. I just wanted to hop in quickly, guys, and let you know that we've added Brandon, also known as Captain Fragrance, as one of our regular content creators for the channel. He is a fantastic reviewer. He has so much knowledge about fragrances. He owns a lot of fragrances and actually has worked in the industry for many years himself in the fragrance retail space. I think Brandon is a fantastic reviewer and hopefully you guys agree. So we've given him this first topic of sharing his most complimented fragrances so you guys get to know him a bit better. Over to you, Brandon. Hello mateys, fancy seeing you here. So today we are gonna go on a little adventure across the seas of the fragrance world to find what are my five most complimented fragrances of all time. So strap in and let the captain take you on this lovely, lovely journey. Let's go, shall we? So we're starting with afternoon 9 p.m. Now in the fragrance world, this is better known as a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramail. However, I find this to be a lot better. I find it a little bit smoother, and the fact that they've swapped that pear note out for an apple note, just something about that resonates a lot more with me. I, I much prefer apples over pears, I don't know why. I genuinely don't know why. But yeah, after 9 p.m., it's loud, it's long lasting, like this stuff, I go nose blind to this stuff after a couple of hours, but everyone around me swears by it 10 hours later. So performance on this is wild. Projection is strong to moderate, strong to moderate. <laughs> the higher the heat, the louder this is gonna project. So maybe steer clear of this one in the highest heat in summertime. Hey, that's just my opinion. And yeah, compliment monster this is. And I mean, to most people, it's not really a dent, but to me, this is a dent. <laughs> I've had this, whoa, how long have I had this in the collection? Maybe like eight months or so now, and never fails, never fails to get me a compliment. Every time I wear it, gets me a compliment. It just about scrapes itself into my top five. Afnan, 9 p.m. Check it out if you haven't already. Awesome stuff. Next up, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Scandal Le Parfum, or should I say Scandale Le Parfum, as they do in the adverts. This and the EDT to me are very similar. They're very similar on my skin, very similar performance, projection, all of it across the board. It's just a matter of preference. I would go and try both and just see which one works better for you, honestly. But for me, it was the Parfum. I just find it's a little bit richer, a little bit deeper for my personal taste. And this is underrated in my opinion. In terms of compliment factor, this is a hidden gem. This gets me a compliment and then it gets me another compliment. Like I spray it on, I wear it, get a bunch of compliments. And then I am guilty of forgetting how good it is because I won't wear it for like two months. And then I'll spray it on and be like, oh yeah, this gets me all the compliments. What a great idea. This is quite gourmand-like, you know, you've got an aromatic tinge to it in the beginning. However, it is it's caramel, you know, caramel, tonka bean vibe, powdery, sweet, vanillic, scandalous. <laughs> we can edit that crap joke out. Yeah, I don't know what I think of the presentation, honestly. Sometimes I really like the crown. Sometimes I don't, I think it's a bit gaudy. It's a bit small for me. I'm the king. But no, overall, really good. And they've just announced the, the newest flanker in this line that's coming out very soon. So I'll be very excited to try that one. But yeah, number four in my most complimented is Jean-Paul Gaultier, Scandal Le Parfum. From something that's scandalous by name to something that's probably scandalous by bottle design, at least to some people nowadays, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal Le Parfum. Yeah, this is crazy good in terms of compliments, crazy good. I love the Elixir, the new one. I love the OG Le Mal. Ultra Mal, I mean, clearly I like the DNA. I just don't like the original, but Le Mal Le Parfum just does something special for me. It's got this effervescence when I spray it on. It's almost like crackling nature to it. I don't know how to describe it, I'm pretty sure it's the lavender popping off my skin in almost like a bonfire type crackling manner. If you can picture that as a scent, that's, that's the vibe this gives me. This has got me compliments that are not appropriate for me to say on the internet. Um, <laughs> a lot of 
Younger people nowadays will say this is a bit of a sus bottle. I think this is a aspirational bottle. Personally, I wake up, I look at my Jean-Paul Gaultier collection and I go, yeah, do sit-ups, bro. But that's just me. Classic, it's classic, it's a modern take on a classic DNA, just like how the Elixir is a modern take on a classic DNA. This pulls me some of the craziest compliments ever. Not the craziest, we'll get to that, but oh, fantastic juice, fantastic performance as well. Like eight hours, moderate to soft projection, but eight hours performance. And yeah, can't, can't go wrong with JPG Lamau Le Parfum and it's dingly little ring pull. So coming in the runners up position of my most complimentary fragrances is Ganymede Extrait from the house of Marc Antoine Barrow. Now this is a niche fragrance and it is everything that is incredibly awesome about niche fragrances. This is the most unique one, or at least almost the most unique one in my collection. It's natural smelling, it's enticing, captivating, magnetizing, all of the adjectives, this is this is that. This is every adjective you've ever known. Get a dictionary in fragrance form. It's Ganymedic straight. <laughs> now, Marc Antoine Barrow, fantastic house. They've got five fragrances out currently, I believe, five. And Ganymedic straight is one of the more recent ones and it does not disappoint. Compliments galore. Performance is beast mode. We're talking nuclear performance on this. I can still smell this stuff on me, around me, in the air, 24 plus hours later. It's insanely good. The bottle is a nice gold bottle, so you feel rich just, just looking at it, you know, you can just stare at it and be like, ooh, yeah, shiny. And me being a pirate, I like shiny things. So of course I had to include a shiny thing. <laughs> I had to include a shiny thing in this video. Now, what does it smell like? That's the difficult part. It's very difficult to describe. So I'm gonna take you on a trip. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you've ever had a barbecued banana, first of all, if you haven't, you're missing out. Second of all, is like a banana with a load of spices that's been barbecued. So it's like caramelized, fruity, spicy, but also got like, almost this heat to it, you know, almost this fieriness behind it. And it's just, oh, superb perfumery, masterfully blended, um, done by my personal favorite perfumer, actually, Quentin Bish. So shout out to Quentin Bish. And I cannot imagine a world where I don't have this because it's my second most complimentary fragrance and I've only had it for like four months. <laughs> right, next one. So a little bit of an honorable mention. I didn't want to include this one on the list because I don't own it yet. I will, I will, I promise I will, but I don't own it yet. However, it's got out of the little sample I had, got me so many, so many compliments. So I had a little, I think it was a 1.5 mil sample of Symphony by Louis Vuitton. Now that's from the Extrait collection, the one with the sculpture stuff on the top, you know, <laughs> on the top of the bottle. It was originally a women's line, but they've now moved to be a unisex line. And Symphony is a very citrus, heavy, fresh, clean fragrance. Now, I know what you're thinking. Citrus heavy, fresh, clean, of course it's gonna get compliments. Yes, it does. The compliments it gets is insane. People smell it from miles away. It's a room filler freshie, which is very, very rare in this business. <laughs> it's 24 hour plus beast mode. And out of that 1.5 mil sample, I got two, maybe three wearings. Every wearing got minimum, no exaggeration, minimum four compliments on that day, plus some the next day. So I'm gonna have to add it to the collection at some point, but didn't wanna include it on this list because don't own it. So it feels a little bit like cheating. We don't like cheating. So on to the number one spot. Number one spot, whoa, Versace. Yep, that's the right way around. Versace Eros EDP. Yep, that's my most complimentary fragrance. There you go. <laughs> no, in all honesty, I've worn this as a signature scent for years. Until I started getting properly into fragrance collecting, this was my signature scent for about a year and a half, maybe approaching two years. And it's just got compliments after compliments after compliments, including one of the craziest compliments I've ever received. 
I was going on a escalator. Pretty sure it's called that everywhere in the world. So I'm just going to say escalator. Um, I was going down an escalator. Obviously, I was wearing Versace Aros EDP, which predominantly is a clubbing fragrance, but I rocked it as a signature scent. Do with that information what you will. Um, I'm going down the escalator. I've got my headphones in, coat on. It's like the middle of winter, like December time. A woman passes me on the escalator, stops on the escalator, turns around on the escalator and says something. I take my headphones out and I'm like, sorry, could you repeat that please? I couldn't hear you. And she goes, I just had to stop and tell you, you smell incredible. And then she turned around, walked down the escalator and was gone in, into the wind, into the wild. Mind boggling. A stranger stopped on an escalator to tell me I smelt good. That's the best compliment ever. You can't get, tell me you can get a better compliment, you can't. But yeah, that's why that's my most complimented. Will it be overtaken by some other fragrances? Probably in the future, but as of right now, this is my number one. So that's been a look into the Captain's Compliment Monsters. The Captain's Best Complimented Fragrances. Compliment Captain. <laughs> That's been a look at my five most complimented fragrances in my collection as of right now. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the journey. If you like more content like this, obviously make sure to check me out. Socials will be somewhere, I'm sure. And very, very awesome to be here. Yeah. Um, edit out me itching my eye. Those have been my five. It's a nice variety of sort of some cheaper ones, some designer ones, and a couple more expensive ones thrown in there. All of them pour me incredible compliments and I don't know what I'd do without these five in my wheelhouse, bare minimum. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again very soon. I've been the captain. You've been awesome. And with that, I'll catch you lot on the flip side. Adios.